Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so very glad that you are here to learn with me today. Today's learning goal is to draw a line with a ruler and I know you know how to do that. And we're also going to be making a number line. So there are some things that you're going to need. You're going to need something to write on. I'm going to use a whiteboard but maybe you can use a piece of paper. And you're going to need something to write with. I'm going to use a marker. And you're going to need a ruler because we are learning to make a number line and draw lines with a ruler today. Also, I'm going to have you either get some little square tiles or Lego that you can use to measure on your number line. All right. I'm going to have you go and get everything and then meet back here to practice. Class, today we are going to be drawing lines with our ruler. And there's just a few things that I really want to remind you with. And one is when you're drawing a line with a ruler, you need to hold the ruler tightly so that your line will be straight. If you don't hold it, let's say you don't hold it at all, and your pencil can just move the ruler all over, and your line's not going to be straight at all. So when you are drawing a line with your ruler, make sure that you hold your ruler very, very still. Now I'm going to make a line starting at zero on my ruler and going all the way to the end, 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Could you make a line that is as long as your ruler? Give it a try. And then I am also going to make a line that is half as long as my ruler. It starts at zero and ends at six. Hmm. Today we're going to be making a number line and I am just going to use my very longest line. Number lines can help us in math, especially with adding and subtracting. And I'm going to make my number line look like a big long arrow on both sides. And I'm going to start my number line over here with a zero. And I'm going to use my little blocks to measure. And I'd like for you to try that as well. I am going to draw a little line here. And this one is zero, so this one is a one. I'm going to use my block again. Make a little space on my number line. And this is going to be two. I'm going to try it again. And this one, guess what? It's a three. So I have zero, one, two, three. And I am going to label my line all the way across with a little number line. These are so helpful when we are adding because we could say, hmm, I have one block and then I got two more and you can do two jumps, one, two. And so now you see that you have three in total. All right, now I would like for you to do this today. Use your ruler to draw a line and then use some little shapes. You could use Lego if you don't have little blocks, but if you have block tiles, you could use these to make your number line. 10 and, oh, I'm gonna be able to fit one more on here. 11. I would like for you to make a number line starting at zero and going as far as you can. <gasps> How far could you go on your paper? Maybe you could glue a couple of pieces of paper together. Class today, I want you to practice using your ruler and make a number line. It's very important to remember that this spaces between your numbers, they should be the same length or the same width. 
I don't want you to make a number line that looks like this. This is going to be a silly number line. It starts with zero, and then maybe we have one, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> that looks so silly because all of the spaces are different lengths. We want ours to be consistent. Give it a try. Oh class, thank you so much for practicing math with me today. I hope that you had fun drawing lines with your ruler and making a number line. So today, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I am wishing you well from the beautiful Wash Des Moines Lake in New Brunswick, Canada. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.